next week. In an hour's time, Torres Royal will be hosting Megalab 96. One of the projects was supposed to be a sky glow survey. For that, we need clear skies, though. And I think tonight, anyway, only some northern areas of Scotland are likely to have some clear weather. Later in the weekend, more of the northwest of Britain seeing some clear weather, so maybe we can all go comet spotting instead. Now, as that clear weather tucked up in the far north, there are a lot of cloud elsewhere, much of it low and giving a lot of mist and fog over the hills in particular. This thicker belt of cloud here is tied in with some weather fronts. Now, they look set to slowly wedge the way northwards for a time and then move back away southwards, bringing us, if only temporarily, some mild weather to the south over the weekend. And then around that edge of the high pressure, that's chilly weather taking over again for next week. This rain, the sleet and the snow as well. Some of the snow weather edging its way up through the western and southern areas of Scotland there. We've also got this wetter weather over southeast Wales, down through the southern Midlands, edging its way down through in towards southern and southeastern areas of England. Now, much of that will ease away during the evening, but later on in the night, more wet weather will push its way in, particularly affecting parts of Wales, northwest England by the end of the night, some snow over parts of the Pennines, and perhaps by later in the night in towards the southern uplands of Scotland. In the far northwest, that clear weather does mean it'll be a bit frosty by dawn. Elsewhere, well, temperatures will be on the rise, the mildest weather.